Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert will be talking about Identity and Access Management that is IAM. So let's get started. Hey there, so welcome back and in this lesson we are going to look at Identity and Access Management service which helps in securing which stands for users, groups, how do you secure your resources, everything about that in Identity and Access Management. So what is IAM service? Uh, it's a security control for individuals or a group of users access to all your AWS resources, be it like storage, networking, your databases, your Linux virtual machines, networking, all application services, everything that you are doing on or you can do in AWS cloud. How do you access that is about identity and access management. There's other things as well like your key management, but we'll in this lesson we're going to focus on the core IAM services, which are your users, groups, roles, and policies. Um, so what are these? We'll look into that. And you control your passwords, multi-factor authentication. We'll cover that as well. What is multi-factor authentication and so on? Your access keys and all those services under identity and access management. So first, let's begin with the overview about these four main things within uh, AWS, which is users, groups, policies, and our roles. So the users, I users are the individuals like you and me uh, with a set of permissions, um, the one who can log in to the console or you can log in through command line or do something on cloud AWS cloud. So users typically have credentials, which means it could be a password, it could be a key, or it could be something to either make an API call, which is application programming interface calls, or they probably might be doing it from the console or different ways to access uh, the, uh, the AWS resources. So that's IAM users. Whereas groups is collection of IAM users, um, so which have similar set of permissions. So I can say one department, put them into one group and give them a specific access. So the, all the IAM users um, are in a group, in a particular group can access um, the resources by giving them a specific set of permissions to that group. The IAM policies, policies dictate or specifies the permissions uh, that you want to give to either a user or to a group or to a role. And then IAM role is a set of permissions um, that you assign so that you can make a request to that uh, AWS service. Request could be uh, uh, accessing it, deleting it, creating it, maybe editing it. So set of permissions that you uh, can apply. And then you, that role can be assigned to either a user or to a group or to an application or maybe a service itself. So role is something similar to user on which you can apply the permissions, but the major difference between user and role is that user will have a credential, which means a, either a key or a password or something to log in or access those resources, whereas role is just a set of resources. You don't log in through that role. That role is assigned to a user or a, a set of uh, a resource. I hope that makes sense. Now, let me tell you, uh, let me go and show it to you on the console where you will be able to create or manage these, just play with them. We'll have, depending on which guide you're picking, we might be definitely playing with some users and groups and permissions and policies and so on. So I'm on the console. So I'm going to first pick up from here, identity nexus management and which is under security identity IAM, or you sim simply go here and search for IAM and then click on this service, which is manage access to the AWS resources. And this is where you have groups, users, roles, policies, and there are other things as well. But let me go and um, go to, uh, and if you want to do multi-factor authentication, what are those? I'll cover that in a minute. But first let's go to here users. And right now I don't have any IAM user and we'll cover that brings to the next point. What is a users? And if you see here now on the top here, you see my region, which I talk, talk about is a global. So my users identity and access management is a global service, which is applicable for all uh, entire region, all the regions. It's not specific to a specific region. So it's a global service and IAM does not require any reason selection. That's why, because it's a global service. So let's, this was our uh, users, groups, policies, roles. Let's first look at AWS users. As I said earlier, user um, 
is an identity that can access AWS resources and you set permissions on that uh, user that user could you can integrate with external directory services like Microsoft Active Directory or integrate with um, and you can log in via externally as well uh, on that users. Now users in AWS are two type root user and IAM user. I'll explain these uh, both. Uh, but root user is the global user that you that gets created when you your account is created first time uh, so you can't delete that user that's kind of a super user and uh, root user and let me show you what i mean by root user and iam user so if you see any user that i'm creating under here under users these are identity nexus management users and if i create them then they will be able to log in to the aws console let me first log out from here so I'll click here, I've logged in and click on sign out. And when I'm trying to sign into the console, if you see first time you're logging in, it says you root user. The user that you create first time that has a kind of a super user that has full privileges, you'll be logging it as user that. And then later you can create multiple sub users that and give them the right kind of a role or access so that you can create and for those users, they'll be logging as a IAM user and they will first need an account ID, which basically when you create, you'll get that account ID. In my case, it's uh, the account I'll show you in a minute as gain as well. So this is the use, root user and I'll be logging in as my user ID, which is a super user. And um, this is my super user. I'll log in as password. And now I'm inside that uh, my console and I can then go and search for my or look and then create my additional user. So these will be my IAM users. So right now I don't have any IAM user. I have just one root user. I have 12 roles. I have no groups and I'll will and the policies. There are two policies, customer managed policies. There are default policies that comes. We'll see what the policy is. So this is my root user. Similar to that, I can create additional users with identity and access management users and give them necessary policies or apply some permissions policy is nothing but set of permissions that you can apply on a user or a group so that they can see what they can do or it policies will control what they can do or can't do in terms of whether they can access manage delete uh, create and so on these resources now mfa stands for multi-factor authentication uh, so when you saw that i was logging in i was just log logging in with a user id but single password only this only thing was i was just giving my password and that's not secure so what i can do is i can come here and enable multi-factor authentication so when they are logging in it's going to prompt them for more than one password it's not just password it'll prompt me password but one more factor of authentication which means that could be my uh, uh, a uh, one-time token which i can get on an app like google authenticator or a message on my phone or an email message or a token on my uh, email so that's multi-factor authentication we'll have a lapse later in the program for you how to enable multi-factor authentication now group is nothing but collection of users on which you can apply the policies um, so that rather than giving permissions on individual users you can put them into groups so you can uh, then apply policies on that now policy is nothing uh, but set of instructions or permissions which will grant uh, necessary access on resources. Resources could be in this case bucket, which is nothing but my storage, a simple storage service a bucket. Or you can have, you can also granularize them and say, I have a full access, I have a read-only access, I have um, a specific access you can grant. And then finally, a role. So role is, as I said earlier, is um, an identity that you can create in your account that's specific up and, and that has specific permissions. So in this particular case, I've created a role, uh, for example, in this diagram here, I've created a role called AWS service role for Amazon EKS. EKS is a Kubernetes service. So I'm creating a role which will give them uh, permissions to manage my elastic Kubernetes service. And whosoever has that role, whether it's a user or it's a group, or it's an instance that particular identity will be able to work on that uh, or will have those permissions so roles are similar to IAM user the only difference as I said is that um, um, they 
can be associated. They are not just linked to one user. They can be applied to multiple users that a role and you can grant and access revoke a role to a user and role does not have a password similar to or uh, or like the way you have in I am user. So that's a role and this is the relationship between users groups policy and a role. So there is a many to many relationship between users and groups. Now the policies uh, which governs uh, permissions can be applied to a user. It can be applied to a group or it can be applied to a role and role will have role can be applied again to a user or a group or a user or group can have a role. So that's relationship between users, groups and policies. Now, if you're part of identity, in, uh, if you're part of AWS solution architect training program, we'll do some laps on these. And if you're part of uh, AWS DevOps, again in AWS DevOps, when we are creating access control, uh, when we are creating um, command line interface or when we are giving uh, permissions on to we give, we'll be creating some roles later in the program in the respective labs. So that is identity and access management users groups and uh, roles and policies. So guys, I hope you really liked our session and you it was really helpful for you. And if you could not understand any of the things or any of the terms that our trainers discussed, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on AWS security specialty certification along with a demo. In this free class, you'll be learning about cloud for security professionals, what and why. You'll be learning about security services in AWS cloud. Also, you'll be getting a demo to secure application access on cloud using WAF. You'll be getting across 25 hands-on labs, many sample exam question and answers, and a lot of things. So if you really want to enroll for this free class, then all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash AWS SEC 02. And after that, you just have to click on book your free skit now. You can select your event date, add your name, add your email address, add your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you just have to save this URL on the extreme right and add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep hustling.